Welcome to the second part of, of the lines and angles video series and and in this one we'll do we'll further go into types of angles and the first one of this are vertically opposite angles okay so so let's think about a scenario where we have two lines that intersect each other let's say these are lines L and lines M they intersect each other and you get this point of intersection around which you have actually two pairs of angles so these two pairs you can see they are opposite to each other right and then there is another pair which is opposite to each other okay so these are known as vertically opposite angles and they are equal to each other so let's say this pair is a and b so a and b is a pair of vertically opposite angles which are equal in measure and then you have uh, the pair C and D, let's say here, which should also be equal. So these are known as your vertically opposite angles. Pretty simple. Let's look at an example problem where we can apply the concept of vertically opposite angles. Okay, so in the figure at the right, lines K, L, and M intersect at point O. It doesn't say point O, but it is the point O. If line M bisects, new word bisects, angle AOB, okay, we need to know how to read this in a moment. What is the value of X? So question is asking the degree measure of X. Right, first of all, if line M bisects angle AOB, okay, what's angle AOB? The way you read this is you start with A, so A is here, you go to O, so O, and then you go to B. So, B. so this angle, which is all of this, this angle is angle AOB, okay? That's how you read this three-letter angle notation. So, so this angle is bisected by M. Bisect means divides in half, exactly half. So divides in half, that means it's being bisected. So line M bisects angle AOB in half. So this, well, you ha you know that half of this angle is X, right? Like over here, they say this is X. So the other half, this one, also needs to be X, okay? So we have these two angles that are equal to X. And you need to find the value of X. Okay, well, let's think about this. So you have this line K, straight line, on top of which you have three angles, right? You have these two X's, and then you have another angle. Let me pick up a a different color for that you have this big obtuse angle right so so these three angles let's say let's let's say this is angle y so you have the two axes and you have your angle y they are all on the straight line k which should equal to 180 this is from the previous lesson angles on a straight line sum up to 180 degrees so what's y well y is a vertically opposite angle pair with 130 degrees. So Y has to be 130. So you see how they are opposite to each other? Opposite to each other. So Y has to be 130. So you have 2X plus 130 equals 180. So you will get 50 equals 2X and X equals 25 degrees, which is A. Okay, nice and easy. Right, let's get back to more about types of angles. Right, so we had vertically opposite angles. Before going into the next type, we need to look at a concept of parallel lines. Parallel lines. So, so these are lines that do not intersect. So lines that don't intersect at all no matter how long they are okay so 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 like this so let's say you have your line l and you have your line m these two if you even in, a, in either direction if you stretch these two lines if they never intersect then they are parallel lines a notation for parallel lines is these two double small lines that you use so which is not that 
commonly used in uh, in GRE. GRE would just say L is parallel to M. Okay, measure wants to refer to parallel lines. Okay, uh, so parallel lines do interesting things. Uh, let me draw these lines again here. So two, I want to draw two parallel lines. So here's my line, let's say L again, and here's my line M. Okay. Now, what if I have as a line that intersects both of these lines? So let's say this is line K. Line K. Okay. Now, what you'll see is that you'll have all these pairs of angles being formed. So let me rearrange it a bit like this. So you have around this point, you have four angles formed. Okay. Let's say these are A, B, C, D. And then around this point you have four angles formed so let's say these are p q r and s okay so what so what are the things we already know we can say about these points so let's let's think about that so so i can say well a b are on line l so a b have to equal 180 Simil similarly DC would add up to 180. PQ would add up to 180. S and R would add up to 180. Oops. Okay, so these are just angles on a line. Also, A, B, C, D will add up to 360. And PQ, S, R would add up to 360 okay what about vertically opposite pairs so pairs of vertically opposite angles so this is my shorthand boa for vertically opposite angles so so if i look at this point a and c so a and c is a pair of vertically opposite angles b and d if i look at the second point here i'll have p and r and S and Q as pairs of vertically opposite angles. Okay, so this is all we already know. Okay, now a new pair of angles that we need to know now is, let's see, let me pick up that angle. Okay, so a new pair, I'll say number two, so versus U V of A, we are vertically opposite angle. Uh, the second is in no not in turn is alternate angles. Alternate angles. So so see angles D and Q. So these angles are like you know they are on the opposite side of this line. They are called alternate angles and they are also equal. And you have another pair here, C and P. So two pairs of alternate angles and they are equal. Okay. Uh, then the third pair we have are internal angles. Okay. So these are D and P and they add up to 180. So, so as the name suggests, they are internal. They are, if you look at line L and then this line and this line, they are internal, internally located in these lines. So you here's your D, here's your P, right? They're kind of internal. So that's why uh, they're called internal angles and they add up to 180 degrees. I'm going to delete this picture quickly. All right. Okay, so another pair is C and Q. So C and Q are the pair of internal angles and they add up to 180 degrees. Lastly, the last pair 
that we have is corresponding angles. This is slightly harder to pick and you don't always actually need to to be able to to, to, to pick these angles out. So these are like angle A and angle P. These are corresponding angles and they are equal to each other. Okay, A and P. And then another pair would be B and Q. B and Q are equal. Other pairs, D and S and then C and R. Okay, so they are so so a few times go through these definitions and make sure you can pick these at least three of these. Well yeah corresponding maybe not but but all the other ones you should be able to easily pick out that these angles are equal to each other or this sum up to 180 or 360.